them all. Man, and I ain't got 750 to pay. Tom Cruise is starting to do the same old stuff that we see him doing all the time. So much that Earth just said, man, we gone. We, we, don't, we don't even want to see you no more. You done with you, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Tom. Everyone leaves him. He's still riding that motorcycle like he rode in two other movies. And he's still running from a secret organization and our alien monster and our evil robot. His name is even Jack again for the third time in a movie. Why y'all down on Tom Cruise? You know we've been liking Tom Cruise lately. We, we <laughs> yeah, love yeah. to talk shit about Tom Cruise and he always comes back with a movie to say, shut the f up. He, he comes I'm Tom Cruise. <laughs> he comes running back. Yeah, he comes <laughs> running back to ours. All the time. He just put out a movie yesterday. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you can't quit me. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny because Cyrus, before we were talking, he said, yeah, ain't nobody left on earth except Tom Cruise and Wally. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Tom Cruise walking around and Wally like, Wally, yeah, I heard you. Wally, shut the f up. <laughs> yeah, we got Tom Cruise in this movie. He's such a badass. Now he's got to save the earth again. And here he plays one of the few humans remaining flying around in his eye penis plane <laughs> and trying to fix drones on the planet. And these drones are going to stop all the remaining aliens from taking the earth's water or whatever. Anyway, Tom Cruise is saving the planet again. And the way he saves the earth this time, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. This is an amazing looking movie. Outside of that, it's bull. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. <laughs> there you go. One of the things I did see, I managed to wake up in time to catch Morgan Freeman running off with Morpheus' shades <laughs> and Batman's cape. <laughs> <laughs> and happy about it, too. Yeah. I'm so cool. Tom Cruise was great oh. and, and Morgan Freeman. But I have reservations about the rest of the movie. I'm a, you know what? For a change, I might do my review later. Leon? Yeah, yeah, sure. You know what? You can't say enough about how gorgeous this movie is. The effects, the design, and it's all a big throwback to all the classic movies, classic sci-fi movies from the 70s, some from the 80s, even 90s, but especially the 70s, the first half. Unfortunately, in the second half, the story kind of devolves into so much of what we've seen before. If you haven't seen these movies, hey, you'll still be impressed, and the, and the twists and turns will get to you. And not all the acting was uh, up to par, at the same time, everything I talked about that I, I liked about the movie, I loved. I give it a very high matinee. Okay, Cyrus, I know this is usually where you go, but I want to step in because I vastly disagree with you on this. It is gorgeous. It does have a great performance by Tom Cruise. And I like that Tom Cruise gives his great performance while not having to do a whole lot. Outside of the way the movie looks, I love that they're trying to do a throwback to the 70s with all this, but as far as the whole genre of science fiction, it takes movies from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and even today, and I think they've done those things better. This movie is very empty in its landscape, and I also think it's very empty with some of the characters. I don't feel that much for them. And I think that because of that emptiness, the plot is stretched out a little bit too long, which throws the pacing off. I give this a low matinee. That being said, you're absolutely right, Larry, when you said this thing is just gorgeous. I mean, it knows how to shoot action scenes and make you go, Wow, really original visual landscapes. I mean, sure, maybe there's a little bit too much of like, check that out, Statue of Liberty, you see that? <laughs> yeah, we got it, it's <laughs> the planet of the apes, move on. As much as it borrows from so much stuff, it's a good movie. I never stopped having fun with it. Uh, I actually give this a low full price. Okay, and that leaves you last, co-host. Yes, Bring it, it home, does. Yes, it does. Well, I, our own little know, drone. I will say I'm I'm very familiar with all the sci-fi films. I'm a huge fan of sci-fi. I didn't mind the pacing. I like that it kind of took a backseat to that old school, like '70s. Uh, pacing the sci-fi films because you know it's establishing the world it's establishing these characters and what they're doing and when it gets into the second and third act i thought it picks up the pace even more especially the re the revelations uh towards the end i was that much more interested and that was because i was invested in the characters and tom cruise did an amazing job so i mean man i'm gonna give this a full price i tell you what those drones in the movie though where do i get an upgrade like that because i need one. Oh, don't worry we've given you plenty of stuff to drone on about <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are laughing at that. Yeah, you yeah, guys no, are that laughing at good. that. Oh, that's, yeah, that that's good, good huh?